Ever since Apple decided to retire the unibody design of the classic MacBook Pros in 2012, replacing the feet on these things has become really difficult. As far as the actual repair is concerned, all you'll need is a 1.2 pentalope screwdriver bit and the actual replacement feet themselves, and that is it. In order to do the repair, you don't actually need to unscrew your MacBook, but I thought it was a little bit easier to do it than faffing about with the machine itself. So all you need to do is grab hold of your rubber feet, obviously take them out of the packaging, and then grab either a sharp screwdriver or a needle or something like I'm using just to remove the remaining rubber to make sure that the foot can fit. After you've done that, remove your foot from its backing. They all come pre-stickied now, which is fantastic. It makes everything really easy. You then want to line it up with the little notch on your MacBook um, to make sure that it stays in place properly and doesn't spin around and push it tight. Once you've done the first foot, it's essentially a case of rinsing and repeating the same process. The only thing that I would mention is that I found the plastic backing to um, the feet on the rear of the machine to be really difficult to remove, so much so that I actually switched to a pen knife halfway through the process and actually had to cut it out. This may not be the case with your own personal machine, but with mine it was just slightly irritating and I thought it was probably worth mentioning just in case you face a similar issue. Don't be afraid to use a knife, you're not going to mess anything up certainly. After you've done that, reinstall your back cover and make sure that all the feet are level by putting your MacBook on a flat surface and then pushing on all four corners just to make sure it doesn't wobble around. Dead easy to do, but definitely worth doing in case you have to take something back off again. I'd also recommend doing that with the display open. Just try typing a short sentence or something like that just to make sure that opening the display doesn't have an effect. And there we go, 20 minutes and £1.79 later, and my MacBook now once again has four feet and doesn't wobble around or scrape on a table, which is fantastic. A lot better than taking it to Apple and having them do it, certainly if you're out of warranty like I am. So all that remains is for me to thank you for watching and to let you know that if you want to see anything else that I get up to, you can check out my Instagram, which is on the screen now. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel if you enjoyed the video. And actually, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful and leave a comment below and let me know how you get on. Thank you.